In mindful meditation, we do the exact opposite of that. So we take our concentration and our focus. We still have relaxation. But rather than take our awareness and, and focus it on one thing, we focus it out. It's the same thing, but in reverse, if that makes sense. So we take this funnel of concentration and we flip it over and we concentrate out. So what does that really mean? That means that everything in the present moment becomes the object of your meditation. So far so good? Okay. Not too difficult to understand, but I want to make sure you see that distinction. Yoga meditation, mindful meditation. A little bit different. Um, so there are two types of mindfulness or mindful meditation. The first one is called an informal practice. And that is where you'll see people doing things like a walking meditation or an eating meditation. And given the amount of time, we won't be able to do that. Oh, I'd love to have some food right now. Um, but we won't have time to actually do those types of meditation. But anything that you do in your life can become a meditation. Okay, so there's things to explore in here. We'll talk about a little bit. Um, and. Uh, the, that's the informal practice. And then we have the formal practice of meditation. And that is where you actually sit, just like you do in yoga meditation. You sit, you become still, you focus within. The only difference between the yoga and the concentrative is that you don't narrow down, you open up. And so hopefully we'll have a little bit of experience with that tonight. Um, I would encourage you, if you're brand new to meditation, you haven't been practicing for very long, that you, although listen and uh, you know, absorb what we talk about tonight, still work with your yoga meditation because you want to build your ability to concentrate. Having the ability to concentrate or focus is vital to achieve real meditation, pure meditation. Okay? So to make this fun, um, what I like to do is give you some examples. And you might say, well, why is this important? Why do I care? So we'll get to that in a moment. And the way I like to do that is talk about the opposite of mindfulness, which would be mindlessness. Right? So, to prove to you, you might be going, Greg, I don't get it. What's this whole meditation mindful thing about? Let me prove to you that you need this desperately. So let's talk about ways that you are mindless. We'll make it fun. We have I'll go first. I have, some, I have some good ones. Let me show you how we are all mindless in our day-to-day -day activities. First way is have you ever had the experience of reading a book and you get down to the bottom of the page and you just have this realization you have no idea <laughs> what you just read. Has that ever happened to you? Okay. We can do open heart surgery, send men to Mars, or our men to the moon and, and robots to Mars. How is it that we can read a page and not remember what we just read? How is it I can remember my first grade teacher vividly and her name and not remember what I just read? Mindless, right? So somebody give me another example. Let's make this interactive, otherwise it's going to be really boring. Somebody. Driving to work. Driving to work. So has anybody ended up somewhere? and not remembered how you got there? Even if you haven't had a cocktail? Yeah? Okay. Driving, give me a couple more. Eating. Eating. Have you ever gotten to the end of your plate and gone, oh my God, I ate all that, and I have no idea what it tasted like? Is that true? Okay, how about this one? Have you ever been to a party? Cocktail party, could be a Christmas or New Year's party, and you're there with your significant other, right? So you walk up, to these people that you're going to meet, and your significant other says, Greg, this is Joe. Joe, this is Greg. Very nice to meet you, Joe. And I turn around and get some dip with some chips, and I go, what was that guy's name again? Not even two seconds, ten seconds later. So what's going on here? What's going on here? This is a symptom of what I call a disease. Maybe that sounds a little harsh, but what I call, this is a symptom, this mindlessness, forgetting names, forgetting how you got somewhere, forgetting what you just read, is a symptom of a mind that is fully out of control. In fact, I would say that the clowns are running the circus. 